Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. It's time for Wake Up Awatuki. We're、yeah. so excited you're here. Back in a minute. All right. Well, you know, hey, we're talking still about we we stopped, talked last week a little about leadership and becoming a leader. That we're all called to be leaders. We're all called to be influencers, which is what leadership is. We're called to influence. That that every one of us has something in us that's there that nobody else has that needs to come out of us. But you know, when when things come out of us, we allow whatever is in us to come out through Christ. It becomes a gift. To those around us, so even every experience, everything you've been through, everything you've accomplished, every even every failure you've had, God didn't bring the failure to your life. Right. But it's things that are inside of you. But you let those things come out through Christ,、right. and now they're a gift to someone else. And so、uh, I think we referenced last week this. But I want to look at it again. This is Revelation chapter three and verse twelve.、It、says, "He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in my temple." And so. You know, overcoming is what makes you a pillar. Is what makes you、uh, have the ability to support weight. Because what does a pillar do? Supports weight, allows that expansion. And so, if you want to be a pillar in God's house, He wants you to be an overcomer. But you know,、uh, we're all supposed to be overcomers, right? Yes. We're overcomers in Christ. But you know, one of the greatest things we have to overcome is ourselves. Oh, so true. Right, that there, that, that that every one of us has our reasons and things where we think we're not worthy, we think we're not capable. We think that the things that we've been through are disqualifiers rather than qualifiers. Exactly, and you know, one of the keys in that verse that you just read is that he who overcomes, right? Well, we know that Jesus has already overcome.、Right. We are more than overcomers when we're in Christ, right? There's a lot of things we've overcome simply because we are in Him, and a pillar is strong, but We aren't supposed to be strong in our own strength, right. right? Let the weak say, "I am strong." We're strong because He's strong where we're weak, right? And so,、uh, and I wanted you to share a little bit about you know a particular issue that I think a lot of us have to overcome. You know, and, and I kind of put it this way that sometimes we we hold on to these excuses and these reasons why we're not qualified or capable of being the leader, or the influencer God wants us to be. And the reality is, is there are too many people on this earth that need you to overcome. Right, they need you to get over yourself. That's really what we overcome: is we overcome those feelings that keep us from sharing our experiences, sharing what we've been through. You don't know how many people need to hear your story, so you need to get over maybe the shame of that story or or the lack in that story because it's. It's really not about you. I'm sorry if that's you know a deal breaker for you, but、um, I wanted to share from Isaiah. We mentioned this on Sunday, but I wanted to actually go to it today with you. And it's in Isaiah 54, starting in verse four. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed; neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood any more. For your Maker is your husband; the Lord of hosts is His name, and your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. And it goes on to talk about how God is not mad at you; His wrath is not against you. In fact, He promises He will never be angry with you again, and that His covenant of peace will never leave you. So when you have a promise like that, it's so easy then to take your story and share your story and help other people get free. It really is about loving other people more enough to tell your story than caring about what they might think about you. Right? You know, the enemy has. I mean, between the enemy and just us doing foolish things in our lives, we've, we've made bad decisions. We've we've had you know situations that weren't all that great. But the reality is, the enemy. We shouldn't give him a second victory by allowing that thing that will stop us、right. from where God wants us to be. And see, that's、okay. what the enemy will do. Is maybe maybe we feel like we personally overcame that, but we still deal with not feeling worthy、mm -hmm. in some way.、Mm -hmm. And so what what it says here in Isaiah, we got to cast that off.、Right. It, it said three different times there in that verse, get over your shame.、Mm -hmm. That that we shouldn't be holding on to those things because. Uh, well, that's not who we are. We're in Christ. There's nothing in us to be ashamed of. And you're like, well, but but don't you know about those things that I did and and I still struggle with? No, that you are in Christ. That's right. 
And so, uh, in fact, this Sunday, I'm going to be talking uh, a little bit about uh, really being in Christ and how that does make us an overcomer. I love that. I've been talking on Wednesday mornings, too. So anytime you can join us, if you're in the Ahwatukee area, come see us. Wednesday morning Bible study, we've been talking about being defined by the divine. It's all about being in Christ. You're going to talk about it this Sunday. It's such a critical thing to be able to walk out the gift that you have. Um, And you do have a gift in you if you know Jesus. All right, well, let's pray. Uh, Lord, we thank you uh, for what you have made us, that you have made us an overcomer in you. And so, Lord, we do put aside shame. We put aside uh, any, anything that's in us that causes us to be ashamed of what we've been or what we've, what we've done or what we haven't done, but we take upon who we are in you and the you in us that has made us an overcomer. You desire to make us a pillar in your kingdom, in your house, and that's what we want to be, Lord. I pray that, uh, that we just... Uh, we'll just take a hold of that, what you've said we are, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, we hope to see you guys in church on Sunday. If you're, Obviously, if you're in Ahwatukee, if you're not, then uh, well, we'll see you next Friday. <laughs>